Alright, hello, and welcome to, I guess, kind of a devlog. I'm going to show what I have in the game at the moment. Um, so, as far as, like, the new gameplay mechanics, possibly, and the way the controls work now. So, somebody recommended in the playtest, um, they didn't like clicking each time to shoot. So, now when you hold it down, it is automatic, and it looks it'll automatically reload. If you're holding click, uh, it'll automatically reload if you click with the no ammo. Um, seeing as this is the pistol, it kind of feels really powerful to have that be automatic. And so I was playing with the idea. I'm thinking for the automatic, it's going to look a little bit different with the projectile, but I'm thinking this gun for the automatic fits better. And there will be more ammo, so this would probably do a little less damage. I don't know exactly what how long it is. So that's that with at the moment. Also, I guess you can see now the grappling. Um, you can only grapple the orange at the moment. Like before I had it you can grapple anywhere, and I'm thinking I need to possibly change that a little bit. Next thing I'm going to show you is there's a melee attack. So if I go, oh, oh, I died. Melee attack is a little more risky. But it lets you hop off the enemies like this. Missed it. Not close enough. So it's just like a. Um, it's like kind of a way that I can make things like this. This is the original idea of this, what, what I thought would be really fun. For one, I thought it'd be fun to like grapple the ground and pull yourself to it, and I made a little video of that. So you can see. But also, right now I have it set so that these guys, if they get shot, in the back they turn to me, but they don't aggro at the moment, so I can just un-aggro them. Uh, so I can show you this without being aggroed. So the idea is kind of you could do stuff like this. To get to places, so a little bit of platforming with that, um, I thought it'd be fun to do. And then I can also show you I have a little tool set up. this little tool I can change the speed and I can show you this in slow-mo it's pretty cool so it's like, oh, well, actually I just messed that up let me go up here pull myself up and I can land on this one and pop of it shoot down there it's kind of fun to use it the slow-mo um, and I'm thinking I'll include this as, as uh, something you can enable, either secretly or I don't know yet. We'll see. Might be in the game. And the dash there is actually affecting the, the speed of the game, the way the dash works. So when I dash, you can see the speed goes up actually a little bit. But I can edit the speed. A little bit here. I can even go faster than the game would ever play at. So I just think it kind of has livened up the combat a little bit to add all this stuff. Uh, so this is where it's at. The, the gravity I've increased a bunch, and I don't know a bunch. I the gravity was one, now it's two, and the friction when you hit the ground, everything's changed, so it's like, it doesn't feel as floaty. And playing this version, and then going back and playing the build that's on Steam right now, uh, way, way, way different. Like, 
uh, in terms of like the floatiness, it, it fixes it. So I think anyone who didn't like that about it might be happy about that change. I think it works pretty well. Uh, other than that, it's been a whole lot of fixing these mechanics. For it. You can also chain stuff like the dash since it increases the uh, the time. So you can you can use the dash like this. So the dash is kind of interesting. It sets your gravity to zero and for you know a little small second, and for that same amount of time, it launches you in a direction based on uh, the player's velocity. So if you're moving fast, it gives you a faster dash. And if you're moving slow, it gives you a slower dash. So if I just move a little bit, it's barely anything. Uh, it's a three second dash and everybody wants an indication of when they can dash. I will be putting that, but you can use the dash to get much higher jumps so if i that's how high i jump normally then that's how high i dash jump on this so at the moment i think this is a lot more fun to play um that's mainly the goal. Going slow mo. And then I can pause it even. So to get screenshots of the game, this is how I plan on trying to do it. Because it's hard to, uh, like if you record the game, you know, the way I'm recording it right now, and then try to get a screenshot, it's sometimes not as good as if you got the screenshot. I have, to, I have to figure out how I'm going to do the screenshots, but I need to try to uh, get good ones. And this is how I'm thinking of doing it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's just showing some progress of where things are at right now. Uh, there's going to be more videos showing more progress. And there's also going to be another playtest eventually showing um, this stuff. You get to test it out, see how it plays, and you can let me know any feedback you have. Uh, or if things don't seem to work very well for you, you can let me know if they're not fun or whatever, and I'll uh, take that feedback and use it as I develop the game. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you like the video, and uh, you know if you want to see more updates and stuff, then definitely subscribe and let me know because if people ask for it i'll make it all right